The last time we had a full band here in the Vintage King studio, we were tracking and mixing through an incredible array of Rupert Neve Design's mic pre's, diode bridge compressor, and master bus converter. Well, today we have another band set up in the studio with us, only this time we're breaking down the recently expanded R&D summing mixer family. Let's jump right into it. First up, we have the 5060 centerpiece. This features a 24 by two mix bus and delivers the tone and center section features of R&D's flagship 5088 console right at your fingertips. Perfect for gluing outboard together, passing through the custom transformer signal path, an expanded monitoring section, as well as transport controls for your DAW. All designed to fit right in your desktop and the new Shelford Blue encasing gives you an ultra sleek console-like experience. Next up, we have the 5059 Satellite, a 16x2 plus two mixer that gives the user level, pan, and insert control over each individual channel while passing through an all class A transformer balance signal path. Another classic from Rupert Neve Designs that just recently got a Shelford Blue upgrade for its 2U rack mount design. Last but definitely not least, the latest creation from Rupert Neve Designs, the 5057 Orbit. This new summing mixer option is perfect for someone that primarily mixes in the box where level, panning, and so on are predetermined within the DAW, but you still essentially want the sound of your mix flowing through a 5088 console. Occupying only a single rack space, this is a must have for smaller studios craving Rupert's iconic sound. All three of these summing mixers feature the R&D red and blue silk to get even more color and saturation onto your mix. Another thing to mention is that all three of these summing mixers can be connected to one another to build a completely customized R&D ecosystem for tracking and mixing. Be sure to visit rupertneve.com to see all the different examples of how to build these systems out. So today in the studio, we have Libby DeCamp and her band performing the song Tell Me About Yourself. We'll be sitting down with Brian Riley, who produced the session today to walk us through and compare an in-the-box mix side-by-side -side with each of our respective analog summing mixers. First, we'll just hear a quick example of the tune raw, unmixed, and then we can build it up from there. And lastly, before we jump into it, we recommend checking this demo out on your preferred method of listening, uh, be it some studio monitors, headphones, just so you can hear uh, you know, the full spectrum, the width and the depth that these summing mixers are imparting on our mix today. yourself what's good for your health and do you believe that greek is a language So obviously what brings us here today is we want to show off the three incredible summing mixers by Rupert Neve Designs. So all three of them come in at different price points and all three of them have different functionality to them, including inserts, you have faders, you have a monitor controller on the centerpiece, you have pan options on the satellite, and you have silk features as well. But all of them undeniably have that Rupert Neve sound. So let me show you how I use each of them in this session today. So we ran all of the microphones into the internal prees of the Pro Tools Carbon. And for the drums, I had just kick, snare, overhead left, overhead right, and Glenn Johns. I had a R121 on an upright bass, and then I had a 421 on the electric amp, and the band tracked completely live in the room together. So once we got done with the live tracking, uh, we did an acoustic guitar overdub, and then we did the lead vocal and some harmonies, and then three layers of percussion. So I started the mix session by first routing everything to the centerpiece itself. So for my drums, I routed them out, the carbon outputs one and two, into one and two on the centerpiece here. The bass is going mono into three. The guitar 
the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar, all the backing vocals, the vocal effects, the parallel vocal is coming into five and six stereo. And then I went mono into seven for the lead vocal. So one incredible feature about the centerpiece is that on channels one through eight, you have the ability to include a hardware insert. So for my drums, I use a hardware insert using a pair of API 550A EQs. For the lead vocal, I'm using the Retro 176, followed by a Trident ADB EQ. So besides being able to use hardware inserts on channel one through eight, another amazing feature of the centerpiece is being able to apply an insert directly to the mix bus. So when I started the mix and as I was doing the mix, I had the Pope Audio Bax 2020 EQs that are adding just a little bit of top end and a little bit of low end overall to everything. And then those were feeding in to the diode bridge compressor. And on the diode bridge compressor, I'm actually slamming it pretty hard, but I'm using the blend feature. So it's actually doing parallel compression in the mix. So let's listen to a couple examples of printing a mix through the centerpiece. Uh, we ended up doing four different prints for you guys. So one is with no hardware insert on the mix bus. And then we did one that has the hardware insert with the Pope EQs and the dial bridge compressor. And then we also did two other prints that have the red silk and the blue silk engaged. And for both of those examples, I left on the hardware insert. So a couple of things to listen for of just what the centerpiece is actually doing. It had this amazing quality of bringing the vocal just so forward and have all this density in the mix. It also made the drums just super open and airy. Like we're tracked in a very small room right here. And this gave it the ability to where it sounded like we were in a big live room. Um, also has a nice pillowy sound to the bass. Um, so take a listen. Do you wake up in the middle of the night and was your meal made right and serve with ultimate politeness? Do you wake up in the middle of the night and was your meal made right and serve with ultimate politeness? Do you So next we moved on routing everything through the satellite. And an amazing thing about the satellite is that it's basically channels one through eight of the centerpiece, how it has the ability to add a hardware insert. Um, you have basically a fader, but it's just a knob instead of a fader. Um, but it also gives you the ability to pan it if you want to, and then you can send it to either the stereo one or the stereo two. So I routed everything exactly the same and I set the levels exactly the same, and I used the same hardware inserts for the satellite as I did for the centerpiece. So for these three examples, you can hear how it's widening everything. It's creating space between the drums and the bass and the guitars. You hear that really big open sound of the reverb on the electric guitar, and that vocal is still right up front in your face. So then when we kick on the red silk, you can hear how it excites the high end and it kind of has that 1073 type sound to it. And then when the blue silk is engaged, you can actually hear it fill out the low end. So a little more thump from the kick drum. It's a little more bass overall to the vocal. So let's hear all they sound. Do you wake up in the middle of the night and was your meal made right and serve with ultimate politeness?
So lastly, we moved on to the latest summing mixer in the Rupert New Design family, which is the Orbit. And for this example, I did all the routing exactly the same as the centerpiece and the satellite. So the great thing about the Orbit is that it still has that analog console sound that you're basically always looking for in a summing mixer. But it doesn't really have all the bells and all the whistles that all the other ones do. So it's really easy to route into it from a simple interface. And it's extremely easy to use. And it makes everything just sound a little bit better and a little fuller. So there's a couple things to listen for to what the Orbit is doing to the overall sound. So when it's bouncing back and forth to the straight in the box mix to the Orbit, instantly you can hear the low end just fill out from the Orbit. So the bass is so much denser. The kick drum has that puffiness, that airiness to it. Um, the whole mix gets wider and the whole mix gets a little bit deeper. Uh, you can also hear more things happening in the reverb of the guitar and in the vocals. Those effects seem to pop a little bit more. And just like the other summing mixers, the Orbit also has the red and blue silk. So when we pop that on, listen to how the red opens up that high frequency and gives you that Neve sound. And when the blue kicks on, it actually adds a little more fullness than is already happening naturally from the Orbit to the low frequency. So one thing you've probably noticed in all three of the summing mixer examples is that the peak lights are actually engaging quite often, if sometimes constantly throughout the mix. So, you know, in today's age, when you're mixing in the box and everything, you know, we're all taught that you stay out of the red because typically digital clipping, you don't want it. It's not pleasing sounding. But one of the best things about all three of these summing mixers is that just like a real analog console is that you can push into the red and it's actually not clipping in a bad way immediately. It's actually adding harmonic warmth to the overall mix. So you can really push individual tracks or you can push the entire mix and it just adds overall depth and just volume to the mix itself. And truly makes it sound like you're mixing on a console. So finally, let's take a listen to the tune and we're going to start with the original raw tracking Pro Tools session. So no trickery, no plugins, nothing happening. And then we're gonna build it up from the orbit to the satellite to the centerpiece. And we'll show you how the mix sounds with no silk, with the red silk and the blue silk. And then also, with the centerpiece having the Bax 2020 EQs and the dial bridge compressor. Tell me about yourself, what's good for your health, and do you believe that Greek is a language? The people that it doesn't like Do you wake up in the middle of the night And was your meal made right And serve with the ultimate politeness Do you pick up on your strive with cyanide And when you're late it lies Oh, how you're gonna keep up 
Friends, thanks so much for hanging out with us, checking out the Rupert Neve Designs family of summing mixers with us today. Just some final closing thoughts from our experiment today. You know, more and more folks are producing from home project, hybrid studio situations, and not all of us have the means for a commercial space with a, you know, massive console in it, with a fully professionally treated room. But at the end of the day, we still all want that sound. The centerpiece, satellite, and orbit all come in at different price points and have different feature sets depending on your needs, but all in part that same magical Rupert Neve summing that we've heard on all of our favorite records throughout the years. If you have any questions about any of these summing mixers, any gear from Rupert Neve Designs, feel free to hit up your audio consultant or visit us at vintageking.com. Thanks for watching.